Now, have you recently renovated a kitchen or a bathroom? Perhaps you're planning to. Um, if so, are you agonising over the splashbacks? because there is a lot of choice, glass, brick, stainless steel, tiles, and then you have to think about budget, cleaning, grouting, and whether the splashbacks you bought will last the distance. So there's an amazing innovation in splashbacks that are an answer to expensive glass options or mouldy tile grout. So to tell us more about that is Hugh Fire from Innovative Splashbacks. How are you going there, Hugh? I'm well, Penelope. How are you? Excellent, thank you. Now, Hugh, I have to ask, why are you so passionate about splashbacks? It, it all went back a few years ago when uh, my wife and I were renovating our house and we wanted to put glass splashbacks in, but glass splashbacks are, are very expensive. So we looked around for alternatives and there was nothing except for tiles. So we were forced to go for tiles in the end. And as, as you know, and as, as people know, tiles come with grout and grout leads to mould and discoloration mm -hmm. over the years there's really nothing you can do about that so we were disappointed that we had to put tiles in uh, so we actually started to look for some other alternatives that might be out there and we came across acrylic but what we found was that the, the, the acrylics that were on the market at that time they, they looked plasticky mm -hmm. it wasn't the look that we wanted and, and it's, you know, it's not the look that people want they want something that looks equivalent to glass so we, we just saw an opportunity in the market to um to try something different and see if we could come up with an acrylic splashback that looked identical to glass but wasn't glass so it was it was affordable for people right now are you a designer or a builder Hugh no no actually my background is, is marketing and I run the business with my wife and she's got a um a quality background so right difference, but as what what that's allowed us to do because I come from a marketing background we were able to go out to the market and find out what people like us wanted yes so there were some other acrylic splashbacks on the market but they were very rigid in their options, like you just had to buy full sheets. Right, and right. You didn't have a lot of options on colour, so we, we responded to what the market wanted. We've allowed people to choose from a wider range of colours, plus they can choose their own colours, uh, colours and, and metallics as well. Ooh. We cut the size, we can do odd shapes, we can put holes in for people if they want, all, all these types of things. Okay, so, so there's more, uh, there's quite a few different uses for splashbacks then? Oh, yeah, look, look, absolutely. People are using our splashbacks in, in a wide range of, of applications. So you mentioned kitchens, you mentioned, I believe, showers in the intro. Mm -hmm. They're the most common uses, but we also have them in... Um, uh, people put them in barbecue areas. Uh, we, we've had them in laundries. Uh, we've got quite a lot going into medical centres at the moment. Oh. Because, product, because it's a hygienic product. And oh, it's inert. right. It's, you know, you don't have issues with, with staining. You don't have issues with having to use expensive cleaners or anything like that just warm soap water keeps it clean so mm -hmm. that's been very popular um shops hairdressers you know you name it we, we probably right, right. oh yeah. that's, that's fascinating so because now you've got a factory in geelong um yep. making these innovative splashbacks using a superior acrylic um and you've obviously gone you as you mentioned you've sourced a superior acrylic um but is acrylic uh, is it cheaper than glass and, and other options yeah, look, typically it's around about 30% cheaper than glass to buy. Mm -hmm. um, and then the savings uh, continue to come when you install it. Because glass is heavy, you need... it's well, For start glass, it's difficult to transport on site. So you need someone right. to put it up on a specific ute or a truck to take it out there. Mm -hmm. That costs money. And with glass, because glass is 14 kilograms a square metre and acrylic 7, right. one person can often put up a, a shower panel by themselves whereas you'd need two people to do it with glass. So your installation costs with glass are a lot higher as well. So that all, that all adds up. Of course, but is it as yeah. strong and as stain resistant? Yeah, look, it certainly is strong. Um, in fact, there's a perception in, in Australia about glass, that glass is a superior product. But in fact, if you go to Europe, what you find is they use acrylic everywhere for splashbacks, for everything. Mm. Uh, they, they don't typically use glass. Now, I talk to a lot of architects and... And every so often I'll come to, to, to meet an architect who's got a European background mm -hmm. and we, we mention Plexiglass, which is the brand of acrylic that we use, mm -hmm. and they're, to they're totally familiar with it. So, yeah, you know, we're back in Europe, we use this in our kitchens, we use this in our laundries, we, right. we use it everywhere. So it's, it's a perception that's not actually true. Right. Um, it's 25 times stronger than glass. Um, 25 times stronger. Yeah, wow. Exactly. And it's, it's almost impossible to break. I mean, it can be broken, but you need to put so much more stress. In fact, the, the, the old black and white movie of Sabrina, in, in one scene there, the, the, the guy's got um, 
a, a sheet of plexiglass and it's it's about 10 or 15 mil thick and he actually puts gets nine people into the room and, and has them all jumping up and down on this piece of on this piece of acrylic mm. so is it is very very strong very it's, um, strong it's the stuff they use to make bulletproof glass the oh. bulletproof glass not really glass it's oh right well hopefully we um, won't be getting any drive-bys um, no, 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 <laughs> but no, that's good to know dry it out, but you know you uh, it's, it's used in um, aircraft windows, for example. Right. Which, on the Boeing 747s ah, or light aircraft. Right. They make, because it can't shatter, so it's used in commercial aquariums. So, right. so great it, for showers. Oh, awesome. Mm, yeah. Mm. It's a bonus. I mean, ice hockey protection screen. So, it's, yeah. It's, well, you mentioned it's about. Sorry. It's incredibly strong. Yeah, sorry, go on. Yes, no, I was going to say, you mentioned about just um, washing it with soap and water. So, is it fairly stain resistant? Mm, mm. And what about heat, if you've got it in the kitchen or something? Yeah, so th there's one limitation with it, which is behind a gas cooktop. Mm, yes. So behind a gas cooktop, you've got to leave a 200 mil gap be behind the outside of the rear burner and the, uh, the splashback. Right. 50 mil for uh, an induction stove. But what we do for situations like that is if that is an issue, we also provide stainless steel inserts, which, like the splashbacks, are, are 6 mil. So... The entire thing is flush and it looks great because you've got your range wood coming down, then you've got stainless steel insert and then you've got your stove. It's, a, it's actually a really good look. It, it sounds very good. You you also mentioned, because we talked about obviously kitchens and bathrooms are the obvious use, mm. and you mentioned laundries, but you also mentioned outdoor areas. Yeah, perfect. Uh, we, but, we have a, yeah. So just tell us more about that. Yeah, we've got a few clients who have put it in barbecue areas. The beauty of Plexiglass, which is the acrylic we use, it's, it's a German product. It's been around since the early 1930s. Um, and what they've done is they've tried to create this, and they have, they've created the, the world's superior acrylic. Mm -hmm. And what the, one of the additives they put in there is a UV inhibitor. And oh. they put in the maximum amount of UV inhibitor that you can possibly put in. Mm -hmm. So they actually offer a 30 year no UV warranty on their acrylic. So Good even heavens. if you were to put this in the glass, I oh know it's amazing. <laughs> people get worried that it will yellow. Yes. You could put this type of acrylic in direct sunlight for 30 years and they guarantee it, will, it won't yellow. Good heavens, that's astonishing. Yeah. It is, it is astonishing. Mm. That's, why we, that's why we wanted to use it. Mm, absolutely. Now you've mentioned that it's easy to use uh, and pretty easy to install. Um, well, you actually didn't mention about installation uh, or only briefly. You said it's very light. Um, so people can put up, a, say, a sh in a shower cubicle themselves. Um, so the light weightedness of it is good, but it's also easy to work with and cut and install in that way? Yeah, it is very simple. Like, if you're familiar with glass, you know that you can't do anything with glass once it's been toughened. Right. So if you get glass and it's the wrong size or a hole in the wrong spot or something like that, you, you, you've literally got no option but to break it up and throw it out and start again. Mm -hmm. With acrylic, you can actually cut it on site. And you can do that with a you know jigsaw or a, mm -hmm. uh, a power saw with the, with the correct blade. Right. Um, and an electric sander. So you can actually adjust it on site as you need, which makes it really good for, for large installations where you might have 50 rooms right. in a hotel or something like that. Yes. And they're all a little bit different. Yes. But okay. even if you're putting it in your own house, if, it's a li if your measurements were a little bit out, mm -hmm. you, can, you can fix it up on site. Um, as you say, it's, it's light, so... It's easy for people to, to, to move around to and handle. get it up there. Mm. And, and, and the instructions that we, we send out to are very comprehensive and very easy to follow. We, we spend a lot of time working on them and, and making sure they're, they're 100%. So, Fantastic. And, and, and we also provide people with a play piece as well. So oh, fun. Just, a scrap, just an off-cut that we have, you know, a, maybe a foot, foot and a half by a foot and a half, and people can chop into that and do their own holes or whatever and just make sure they're 100% comfortable mm -hmm. with the process before they touch this. Oh. But the, piece that's actually going into their house. That sounds good. Now, you mentioned all the different colour ranges, and I've certainly yep. been on your website, um, and you mentioned metallics and things, but to what extent can people personalise their acrylic splashback? People can, there's a couple of things that people can do. So we have a standard range of colours, which include solid colours and metallics, but we also provide the option for people to choose their own colours as well. So there's a small colour matching fee, but you can choose a colour from any Dulux range or Waddle range or Torben's range or any range, oh, basically. Oh, all right. We've even had people send in um, pieces of carpet and, and all sorts mm -hmm, of stuff mm -hmm. that we've been able to colour match as well. Metallic, That's great. Yep. Yeah, got to be careful with metallicising things, though. So there's a couple of metallics ranges. Um, Torben's has got a metallic range. Resine's got a metallic range. 
we need to match off those because if you try and metallicize an existing colour, if you take, say, a, a blue and say, I want this metallicized, it's actually going to look a little bit different of course. to the original blue, the mm -hmm. metallics. Yes. They, they change the colour. Right, um, yes, yes, that, we, that makes sense. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So if people have got, um, well, you know, painted kitchen cupboards, for example, or a floor tile, that they want something in the same hue, and maybe not mm -hmm. exactly the same colour because that might look a bit too matchy-matchy, but um, looking at uh, changing the hues, that's something that you can work with them on. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Mm. And we can do prints as well. That was the other so, thing I was going to ask. Yeah. We're, so, we're, the, we're the first company in Australia to offer, acrylic, to offer prints on acrylic. So I could have a shower, an entire shower, like I'm, uh, well, I live in a forest, but um, it's like I'm showering outdoors or something. Is that, is that what it could be? Yeah, we, we did a stunning shower for a client up in Sydney. And what we did was she had, the two walls were um, a waterfall scene. So she had a long waterfall scene. Mm -hmm. And she wanted a recess. So we, we cut, had the recess cut out. And we, the image of the waterfall actually continues at the back of the recess. Oh. Plus we some, some off-white panels around the side, and it looks sensational. Nice. So I'll, I'll, I'll try and give you the details of our Facebook page in a minute, but you can go on there and, and, and you'll have a look. See this. And it looks incredible. The, the, real, the, the person doing the valuation on the house, because she renovated it, said it added at least $30,000, that plus the other print we did in the bathroom. Wow. Incredible. Fantastic. Yeah. That'll, that'll be absolutely awesome. Um, so how do you keep on trend with things, Hugh? Well, to some extent, we leave it, we, we leave it up to... Up to the to the client to decide what they want. Mm -hmm. So we, we don't pretend to be in, in uh, interior designers, but we do have a couple of interior designers and colour consultants that we work with if people need to talk to somebody. Mm -hmm. um, plus, we have a graphic designer if people want modified prints. We do keep up with the um, the Pantone colours of the year and the latest Pantone colours. So we, we did a um, we did a Marsala, which is the latest colour of the year recently, yes. and that looks that looks amazing. So we, we like to keep the latest trends in there as much as we can but you know we we, set, we don't advise on colors it's certainly not our right not our Got, yep <clears throat> Yep, because I had an interior designer on the show a couple of weeks ago, Noella Coffey from Magia Design in Sydney, yep. and she suggested that homeowners could actually change their splashbacks, like personalising your home, but then if you came to sell, you could replace the splashback, was specifically what she mentioned, is something that you could change if you were selling your home and wanted a more neutral effect. So are splashbacks really that easy to rip out and reinstall? Uh, yes and no, it's not, it's not a piece of cake, mm. as it's certainly easier than with glass and tiles where you've got a lot more work to get them off the wall. Mm -hmm. uh, you can take the acrylic off a lot more easily because it's not going to crack or anything as you take it off and you don't right. have individual tiles. Mm -hmm. But you'd, you'd still have to repair the substrate. So any plaster work that was damaged because you've got silicon adhering it to the wall, that will damage the substrate. But, you know, that's just a case of fixing that up and, and, and away you go. The neutral colours are great because what a lot of people do is they then accessorise it mm -hmm. with the latest colours. So whether it's the, the latest Pantone colour of the year right. or different you know, bright colours, Yes. the neutrals work well with those colours. So rather than having the trending colours on the splashback, you have a neutral on the splashback and then you accessorise with towels and... Yes, vases and, and bits and top. pieces. Yes, yes. Yeah, exactly. You're listening to Hugh Thayer from Innovative Splashbacks. Uh, and it's really interesting because I'd, I'd never thought of uh, this point, Hugh, so I'm really glad to have a chat with you. And I have been uh, to your website to um, have a look to um, obviously know what I was talking about a little bit, a tiny bit, when I was talking to you. Um, but how can listeners find out more about uh, you and Innovative Splashbacks? Yeah, there's a couple of ways they can find out more. So, as you said, they can go to our website, which is innovativesplashbacks.com.au, mm -hmm. or they can look up Innovative Splashbacks on Facebook. And they'll what we do is we, we put all our all the photos that clients send in and, and reviews and bits and pieces that they tell us, we put them all up onto Facebook. So that's a great way of getting some inspiration and some new ideas. Absolutely. Uh, you can always call us too. So you can call us on 18 548 we just missed and the first bit of that. Sorry, oh, we had a bit of a sorry. clicking on the on the line. What was? Just repeat that again, Hugh. 0418 548 743. And we've also got a, a network of Australia of installers right across the country who can bring out oh. samples and colours. So wherever you are, we you know we've probably got you covered. Fantastic. That's great. It was terrific to have a chat with you, Hugh. Thanks no, so okay. much. And uh, I don't know whether it's going to be as hot in Geelong as it is uh, in Adelaide this weekend, but you have a good weekend. I, I think it is, but that's okay. We'll enjoy it anyway. Thanks, Ex Penelope. Thanks, Hugh. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.